up Phil Dr. Germany. My name is Ben. Good morning and welcome to the Micro Soldering Show. After one week and board level repair school, we are back again on the on the uh, heating stations and try to fix some phones like Superman tries to save the world. Okay, so today um, I already started some videos, but uh, nothing was uh, was usable. Um, so I hope this video will work because otherwise you won't get any video stuff today because I'm I have no box I don't want to okay so we got an iPhone 6s which was uh, which just don't work anymore at all okay it was working completely was laying there overnight next beside to the bed of the of the owner and at the next morning there was no function at all so let's see when we put it to USB app meter we got about zero that's nice these errors are mostly related to a short okay so let's see if we can remove the short if we got one I think yes Get out the screws on the bottom of the device and I could zoom the on hands camera because it looks better when we got a little zoom in it. Can't fix your video. Your eye power is on my mm. but you can get mine at the bottle and repair school and then I give you yours, okay? This is nice or not? Zoom. Okay, apply. Looks better, I think. Open the device and see. There is an original battery in it. Here are some, I don't know what it is. Some fucking stuff. So let's see if this device has really a short connected to here we got one screw which originally is related to that screw hole here oh yeah what about the baseband is it working are you already finished <laughs> oh yes doing an iphone 6 6 baseband i will see if he does it in the right way i think yes Okay, there's club oh. jemand an der Tür, wir haben sie nach. Okay, we got 5 amps. We got a VCC main short on an iPhone 6s. 6s. I already showed to you so many times these word uh, these uh, easy repairs on phones like that, but really today I only got some access here with the with the error I have already showed several times on YouTube to you so error 4013 um, and I got a lot of other stuff like iPhone 7 no boot, iPhone 7 no boot, iPhone X swap things like that and um, I can't show to you every time the same things so I hope 6s I, um, I haven't shown a lot of times on English on English videos German I already have showed it I don't know hundreds of times. So just open the screw. I don't find my screwdriver at the moment for for 6s. The door was closed and David was sleeping. I was on the street for creeping. Okay. Get out the screws.
and get out the board. You see, the water ma the water marker is red. The customer didn't write anything about the water damage. The board looks really good. So for me, I won't say that it is a hard water damage or that it is a water damage at all. But I want to see the back side, and it is a water damage. Okay. <laughs> um, it was my intention that. Um, it looks exactly like that because these things on iPhone 6s you see every day so and now people write under the video you don't repair water damages why you do this I don't repair water damages I only do data rescue jobs on these water damages but this is not a water damage I would say because when I remove this clue sticker here okay get it off and then have a look how the components look inside and if there is no water here it's not a water damage let's see and you see there is nothing it looks like fresh out of the factory the only thing we have is this one capacitor next beside to the Wi-Fi module um, which is fucked up and the rest of the board looks really amazing so no problem oh you don't see now you see sorry so under this sticker all is really really good the only thing we have is this okay and this is a damage I repair because I see there's no water at all at any other point of the board then I can do repair um, if we had more water I wouldn't repair it would only do data rescue then. So let's see. I want to show to you on thermal. It's not a big thing, really not. But um, I want to show it to you on thermal camera. If my thermal camera would work, I could show it to you. Hello. Hello. Just a short moment. I just uh, I'm just at the video, but I will be finished soon. So you see, it's just one cap. It's just one cap. So just remove it, replace it, and the phone will be fine again. This is phone dog Sobai. He was he was here at the weekend for bottle and repair school, and now he just visits visits us. I just do this repair and after that I will be back so you see it's only one cap and it's really fast to do so we just take the underfoot and getting rid of it As you see, no problem at all. Okay, move the board. And now just get it out by another tool and some more heat. Okay, got it out, like you see. Be carefully because of the logic EPROM on the top side here. Just some flux, solder iron. And get in a new cap. With my solar paste here. Okay. Now getting a new cap. Still, uh, we need to seal two silver one. Oh, let's have a look. Uh, I got the tweezers right in my finger a moment ago. 
really hard. So just the one. Here. We got it. Just take one cap. Get it in. Oh. This one. This cap. Get it in the phone. And now just solder it down. So that's not a water damage at all, you see. It's just one cap, slightly a little bit corroded. Which is clean. And after cleaning, you can take a clean room wipe, push slightly on it, and see if this board is working again. We go on hands, take the screen, connect it, connect it, connect it, take our iPower, 6S, 6S Plus, plug it in and just see if this device wants to boot again. And boom, we are back to life again. So the customer gets all the important data on this phone. The phone is fully working and because of just a little corrosion on one cap, it's not a water damage because we saw that um, the corrosion or the water has not been gone deep into this device. That's not the, not the thing. Really just, just hit one cap on the top next beside the Wi-Fi module and now the phone will boot and the customer will behave all the important data on the phone and got a fully working device so no problem at all just wait a second until it's ready booted and we got another short video about 12 minutes today in the morning I got a video about one hour and uh, at the end um, I just said no I can't use it I need to swap the board because some other shop tried already so many things on this board. The board came in without Chestnut, w without Summer Elves, without TriStar, um, with a broken uh, connector on um, for LCD and touch on iPhone 6s. It was really hard. Okay, you see it works. So I just have to clean up the board to get up some new stickers and to reassemble the whole device. Then it goes back to the customer. Customer has all the important data on the phone and it works fully. If you want to learn things like that, you can easily do that at the Bottle Level Repair School. If you are a repair technician or working at, in the repair industry for smartphones, you can easily join our uh, Facebook group, Smartphone Repair Group Germany. I'm out and see you with the next video. You spend goodbye.